was incredible. Thank you, thank you. Incredibly um, expensive, that is. Did we really need to do that? Oh, nurse, what's the point of having a fun budget if we never get to have any fun? I don't remember creating a fun budget. Besides the point, it was necessary because of today's theme. Today we're looking at fighting game select screens. Another great way to go into dynamic poses with some neat graphic design flair. You know what? You're right. I was a little harsh before. If we want snazzy intros, then by gosh, we should have them! I'm glad to hear you're seeing things my way. Also, on an unrelated note, next week I'll be renting out the Statue of Liberty to recreate a two-second scene from Mario Odyssey. It will require the entire year's budget. D doctor Thanks, I'm going to go sign the paperwork now. Okay, bye! <laughs> doctor! No! <laughs> Doctor, I, whew, I didn't know you could run that fast. Oh, part of my training to be the ultimate fighting champion. You, the ultimate fighting champion. With those noodle arms, heck, you couldn't even beat up a noodle doctor. <laughs> hey, what about that whole arc where I rescued you and beat up a bunch of bad guys? You know, the episodes where we made the whole My Hero Academia mashup story that all the viewers back home should totally go watch because it made me look like a badass? Oh, I'm just teasing, Doctor. Of course I know you could fight. Lord knows I fought you over those gosh darn budget cuts. You and your budgets. You just won't... Budge, will you? I will fight you, Doctor. That's the spirit, Nurse. Perfect segue into our theme. Do you think this is a game? Gosh, Nurse, you're on a roll today with these segues. Yes, that's right. We're talking about fighting games. <sighs> Why do I bother? And while we're on the subject, my favorite game, of course, Super Smash Brothers. Because, I mean, duh. But I do have a fondness for the Dreamcast classic Power Stone. Ah, a classic indeed. What's your favorite game, nurse? Oh, easy! JoJo's Bizarre Adventure All-Star Battle! It is where I, admittedly, get most of my moves from. That explains all the JoJo references we make on the show. I knew there was something fishy about those times I caught you randomly posing. Oh no, that's just me doing my daily yoga. It's the only thing that helps me feel centered in this place sometimes. <laughs> Now I want to see a JoJo's Bizarre Yoga Adventure. Nurse, write that down. Absolutely not! That's... Sky ah. Bus, JoJo's Yoga Time, or whatever. Messy! Don't sneak up on me like that! Oh, sorry, Beefcakes. I didn't mean to scare you. Ever since I started training, uh, my still stats have increased exponentially. And you're just in time, Messy. We're talking about our favorite fighting games today. I'm assuming yours is Dungeons & Dragons related. That game is for nerds, Doctor. I thought you were a nerd. Oh, I am. What's your point? So it is? Nah, my favorite fighting game is Arms, Doc. I love being able to move like that fox, Helix. Where? Oh, she isn't here now, Doc. But if only... It gives me the creeps. It's just not natural. Those... jiggles. Pepper and I jiggle too, Doc. Yeah, but with you, it's different. I'm pretty sure when Helix does it, it means it's time for dinner. Did someone say dinner? And just like that, I gotta bounce. The best time for a kitchen raid is when the chef is away. Oh, um, make sure to clean up after yourself this time, Messy. But anyway, I overheard a conversation about dinner. Oh, no, Pepper. We were actually talking about our favorite fighting games. Oh gosh, totally misread that then. Um, my favorite fighting game? Well, aside from when I have to overwhelm Messy to get her to stop eating all the snacks. No regrets. I'd say the one that I'm at least familiar with is Killer Instinct. I never would have guessed that. Pepper, since when were you so hardcore? Don't get the wrong idea. It was only a fighting game I learned how to play when I was traveling, since the original was in arcades back in the day. But plus, I just enjoy playing around as Rash from Battletoads on the Xbox version. <laughs> He's funny. Right. 
Hey now, I think we're forgetting someone important here. There's one more staff member whose favorite fighting game I would love to know. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Pickles, what's your favorite fighting game? <laughs> My word, Pickles, that's dark. Is that game even legal? Was I summoned? Christel, just the co-host I wanted to see. I know, Doctor. And, as a matter of fact, my favourite fighting game happens to be... Um, Crystals, sorry to interrupt you, but you actually interrupted Pickles. He was in the middle of explaining his favourite fighting game first. Ah, right. Force of habit, since I already know. Apologies, Pickles. Please continue. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, I agree! It really should have won Game of the Year. Indeed! Uh, what a great game! Okay, Christelle, you can continue now. I need to get back to the kitchen. Toodles, everyone! <coughs> no pickles, I'm not giving you back your nunchucks until you learn a little more responsibility. Right, um, my favorite fighting game. It's easily Soul Calibur. The theming of mysticism, the aura. Really, everything about that game just speaks to me. I'm so glad we all have unique tastes in games. Absolutely. What's with the racket? I heard there was fighting going on and I wasn't here to shift someone's pancreas. Oh, Stylene, we were just going over our favorite fighting games. Yes, though I wasn't expecting you to pop in for this one. Hey, I'm no stranger to brawling. Started my fair share of prison riots in my time. Even got to relax afterwards in solitary confinement. Good times. I think I'll be off. You all have a pleasant rest of the episode. But when it comes to video games, my best pick is Skullgirls. Why that one? Believe it or not, I did the makeup for the girls in that game. It was a pretty sick gig. They were all divas, though. I had to reapply that makeup between rounds, even. Turns out brawling puts one heck of a smear on my paint job. Right. Um, great choice. Well, I'm out of here. Got an avocado toast bath bomb with my name on it. Doctor, hearing about all of the different fighting games out there, it just really makes you wonder. Indeed, it does make you wonder how many more cool fighting games are out there. Well, that too, but I was wondering is how much it costs to insure all of these fighters. Well, I ensure you that I will be victorious, since they're, well, fictional fighters. Doctor, that is rude and inconsiderate. Fighting game characters have feelings too, and can also get hurt too. Gosh, it must be so expensive. Relax, nurse. I seriously doubt that's something fighting game characters are thinking about. It's not like there's an insurance company that would cover something like that. Well, when you put it like that... Hey, what's going on? Oh no, not again! Hello, mortals. Jeddah Doma, owner and founder of Jeddah and Jeddah Law Services here. Have you been injured in a fighting game in the last 30 years? Well, then you may qualify for workers' compensation. That's right. Thousands of virtual fighters are injured on a daily basis in their own workplace. From infinite combos to raw level threes. As a former fighting game character turned Mephistophelian lawyer, I can testify to the physical and mental damages that occur in such a daily life. But you don't have to take my word for it. Let's listen to some testimonials from our clients. As wielder of the Soul Edge, getting stabbed by an enchanted sword is part of the job. But it doesn't make the medical bills any cheaper. So when I punched a lung after getting stabbed by Soul Calibur, Jay and Jada was there to handle my workers' comp case. Now I'm ready to harvest the soul of the innocent for power once again. And she'll have enough money to take my wife and kids on vacation next week. Do you know how crazy this job can get? I just had to fight a bear. A freaking bear! Do you think bears are disciplined in martial arts? No! They just maul you while you're trying to input your button commands. But thankfully, Jenna and Jenna had my back. And now that bear's riding a tricycle at a Russian circus. Who's the apex predator now, huh? Ha <laughs> ah, Now to find out who my next opponent- WHY AM I FIGHTING A VELOCIRAPTOR?! Every night, I wake up screaming. I stare at my ceiling, just thinking about the horror. Knowing what'll happen when I go into work that morning. 
the terror, the mortal fear I feel every waking moment of my existence. Every morning my arms are broken. Every afternoon my spine is ripped out of my nose. And every evening my legs are torn off and rammed up my Please don't make me go back. I can't take it anymore. I have no more blood to give. <laughs> wow. And I thought Darkstalker said it rough. <clears throat> so call us now and we'll fight for you. Legally, not physically. How do they keep getting in here? Ah, classic Jedi. That's over. Let's get back to our design. Isn't it lovely? Oh, nurse, all of our creations are lovely because we made them together. Lame. Come on, Messy. I think that's sweet. No, 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 no. I mean these. <sighs> They're salty lame. Now, let's stop bickering and pick out a game to play. Now that Crafty's piece is finished. Wait, how did you know I was going to suggest we play a game? You do know who you're talking to, right, Doctor? Oh, if we're looking for a game to play, might I suggest Raymond Origins? I heard that one has a food world in it! Amongst other bodacious things, am I right? No, Pepper, that isn't even a fighting game. I don't think. Oh! Now, why don't we play something fun like Smash or Skull Girls? I second those choices. Nah, we should play Cooking Mama. Messy, that is definitely not a fighting game! Although now that I think about it, why didn't you suggest that one, Pepper? I... never heard of it, actually. Oh, are we already playing something? I... I don't think so. Hey, keep it down in there! I'm taking a bath! Wait, it's like freaking torture listening to you guys sometimes! 